Quite possibly the biggest news of the year dropped last Friday night at the D23 Expo as Dwayne The Rock Johnson announced that he and Disney would be producing a Monster Jam movie. This has created a huge buzz around the industry and I don't think that people are aware of the huge implications this film has on Monster Jam and the Monster Truck scene as a whole. So today, I wanted to just quickly talk about what we know about the film and discuss what it could possibly look like. So far, we only have a little bit when it comes to the film. At D23, Disney's ultimate fan event, Dwayne took a moment to announce a new film project that he was working on, simply titled Monster Jam. The movie will be in collaboration with this production company, Seven Bucks Productions, and Walt Disney Studios, and will produce the first official Monster Jam movie. This isn't the first time that a Monster Jam movie has been planned though. As we discussed all the way back in our Lost Media video, there was a Monster Jam movie planned to be released in 2003. However, the movie never made it to the silver screen. If you'd like to learn more about the original movie, check out our Lost Media video here. This film will star Dwayne as the lead role and is said to follow the perspective of the drivers as they compete on the Monster Jam circuit. The film has been described as an immersive, fun live action experience. The announcement teaser at D23 mostly shows clips from Monster Jam events with only just a few clips of animated trucks. Undoubtedly, this is big news and has huge implications on the popularity of the sport we all love. In my honest opinion, this is what the sport needs to further grow to new heights, but it has to be done right. In this announcement, The Rock said that he has a passion for motorsports and monster trucks, and he has been involved with monster trucks before this and even Monster Jam. In HBO's TV series Ballers, his character Spencer drove Max D at World Finals 18, which included an appearance from Tom Mance and Ryan Lacoste. But we are going to go in depth about this specific scene and much more in an upcoming video about this topic soon. Whether or not he truly has a passion for this will be evident by what the film ends up looking like. With it being live action, it does mean the film won't be animated or anything akin to... Oh, these things. I think a story of an up-and-coming driver who rises through the ranks and reaches the top of the Master Jam Mountain at the World Finals would be perfect for this film, and they could easily make this storyline work for all ages. From training at Master Jam University to the character of The Rock's first competition win, this to me seems like the only way to tell a fun, immersive, and truthful representation of the sport. Utilizing existing Monster Jam drivers as stunt drivers would be more than fitting and would make the film all the more appealing having the truck stunts completely practical with zero CGI. And with a great cast of actors and actresses as well as possible cameos from drivers and crew from the real sport and I think we have a recipe for a fun and amazing film. If done right, this will bring new eyes to the sport and ultimately let it reach never before seen heights which is what the industry needs. It's no different to NASCAR with the Days of Thunder movie and the exposure it gained from that film, or even Netflix's Drive to Survive series with Formula One. Of course, all of the ideas that I just shared about plots and stunts is purely speculation, but this movie certainly has the attention and the nervous excitement of us fans and even some people within the industry. With no release date even suggested, it's likely that the film will start production soon and possibly release in 2026. Any further updates to the film we will be reporting on on our website as well as our news video. And well, that is all we have for you today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.